Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Sergio from Panic Flip Gaming. You're probably all wondering what I've been up to. It's been a few weeks since I posted anything. Uh, truth be told, uh, life has been a little bit hectic uh, with work and uh, the whole COVID situation has hit up here in Canada quite hard and, uh, you know, trying to obviously uh, balance life between work and, uh, you know, with uh, in home school with my daughter and etc, etc. So, uh, definitely haven't had time to post anything. I'm hoping over the next little while I can post a couple of gameplay videos and just kind of give you guys an update uh, of what I've, I've been working on. Um, today I wanted to talk about um, a little follow-up. Uh, let me flip this little guy around. Uh, this is just going to be a quick and uh, raw unedited video. It's basically a follow-up to my Tech uh, Pinball 101 video I did some time ago, uh, which seems to you know have gotten uh, some interest. And um, I had somebody, one of my subs, reach out to me in terms of wiring up, uh, I think, a solenoid. Um, we covered uh, wiring a contactor on the previous video. And so there was a couple of questions how to connect, you know, the 3.3 volt from this little, wa uh, this little board here. Uh, man, I always go the wrong way every time I'm filming this uh, to the Pinscape. So to cover that question, basically, um, if we flip the board around here, we know that obviously on this side, this is where your toys, your solenoids, contactors, whatever the case may be, will connect to, so positive, negative. We cover that. Now on this side, you'll see the VCC here. So VCC on the, oh, this thing's not auto-focusing the way I want to, there we go. The VCC uh, wire, which is gonna be your 3.3 volt wire, um, connects to the pinscape. And so what I mean by that is if you look at the KL shield that I'm uh, using uh, that uh, Arnas sells, I think I've got a link in one of my videos for it, you'll see there's a 3.3 volt pin out here. Um, I don't suggest using this one because this is for the plunger. Um, now, of course, if you're not using a, a plunger for whatever reason, which would be silly, but uh, if you're not, then you could use that pin out right there. What I suggest is I think Carnos uh, was definitely playing with the llama a little bit too much here, as you can see. Do not fuck llama. I think he was playing with the llama a little bit too much because um, he's got a pin out here for uh, P3 uh, V3, which is basically positive 3.3 volts. So he did it a little bit different. Uh, but basically, all, all you're doing is you're connecting that AC, um, the VCC 3.3 volt wire uh, from the green MOSFET uh, to here. And that's basically what's going to trigger, uh, the Pinscape is going to trigger, um, you know, the board. So what I suggest is just run one wire. Uh, again, ah, it's troubling, having trouble autofocus. Um, just connect one wire uh, from here to the 3.3 volt on the Pinscape. But if you're using more than one green uh, MOSFET board, then what you want to do is just basically piggyback, uh, you know, the wiring from one board to the other. So, you know, basically you take secondary board, 3.3 volt, which is your VCC, to this one, to that one, et cetera, et cetera. Almost like a daisy chain, if you will, right? Um, that's it. That's basically the nuts and bolts of it. The one thing I have um, I forgot to mention is uh, Arnos with the KL Shield, the 5.1. Man, I'm not getting good lighting here today. Um, you know what, guys? Just give me a quick second. Let me turn off the light here in the basement. Um, maybe that's a little bit better, I hope. Oh, not quite. I got the light right above me. Um, and I apologize for the reflection, but he's got everything laid out here. So as you're wiring uh, your solenoids and your buttons, just follow, um, you know, the uh, the pinout he's got here. Um, there's two, you know, three or two green little um, connector boards that are sitting on my test bench that, you know, they come in here, right? Um, and I kind of like what he did because you can kind of remove them to wire, you know, obviously it's a little bit tricky to wire them. So wiring, you know, the connectors kind of, you know, loosely and then connecting them in here is, a, you know, makes things a little bit easier. But he's got basically all the pinouts. The one thing just to keep keep in mind, um, if you look at the PWM uh, portion of the KL Shield, this is where you'd connect, uh, you know, things like if you're doing obviously uh, LEDs and stuff like that, um, which I don't suggest using with the Pinscape. But if you're using a shaker or anything that's got some, you know, variable... Um, you know, voltage, if you will, um, you, you know, you'll want to connect it here to the PWM uh, port side. And then over here on this side, he's got output one. So this is where you connect, you know, your solenoids, your contactors, etc., etc. on the output side. So you got output one, output two, 
you got all your buttons here, you got all your buttons here, and then you've got obviously the PWM side, which I think on, on my setup, I only hooked up the shaker to this. I don't think I've got anything else connected to this. Uh, sorry, no, I do. My fan. I have my fan and my, um, my shaker connected to the PWM side. Um, neat little uh, gadget. Doesn't cost a lot of money and it makes your life easier. So enough rambling about that. Um, so here's a solenoid. Here's a 12-volt Ford solenoid. And you're looking at this thing and you're like, oh, well, okay. So what the hell do I do with this? Um, it's very simple. These things basically act as your... Uh, bumper and slingshots, um, you know, when you're using direct output framework, which is DOF. Uh, that's something I'm going to get into uh, in another video, uh, probably following this one, just to kind of show you guys how everything is set up through the software. Um, and I know a lot of you have asked me to, to, to do uh, a video and then on LEDs and stuff like that. Um, I'm going to let the cat out of the bag. I'm working on uh, another VPIN for a friend of mine. And uh, when we get to the, um, you know, to the uh, portion where, um, you know, we're getting into DOF and, you know, configuring the software and then add adding LEDs and stuff like that, I'll do a video on it and I'll, I'll take you guys along for the ride, so to speak. So uh, that'll, be, that'll be soon. Um, so what you want to do here is basically you've got two posts here. Uh, basically, here's, a, you know, a wire that I created. I'm actually using this on my own cab. And so what you want to do is basically you remove the nut. Um, you know, and you just basically place one in. This is going to be your positive, okay? Uh, and then obviously you secure it in place with the nut. Um, what I've done is I actually mounted the solenoids into a wooden brace in the back of my cab. And so this is the ground. This is what's going to trigger the solenoid all and on and off. And all I've done was basically just touch the, um, you know, the O-ring here to the frame of the solenoid. And then I just ran a screw right through it and into the wood. You know, you guys get what I'm saying, right? Um, and then that's it. And then on the other end, um, put this guy down here. Uh, you'd have, you know, your positive and negative. Like, don't mind this, obviously. And then, you know, your positive and negative would just basically, let's try to, you know, say, I don't know, you've got, um, you know, uh, output number four. So you go positive on the VCC and then you go negative uh, on the output uh for portion which is again what triggers a solenoid uh, the other thing is you guys i think i explained it on the other video i'll explain it again um what you want to do with the input side is basically just take uh your wire so here's input number four right you'd have your solenoid connected there there's your wire there and then basically that input number four just goes into any uh sort of uh, um connector or port on the output side, you choose. It doesn't matter, just make sure that you keep a tab on what you're doing. So if you're gonna hook it up to B11, make sure that you note that because you're gonna need that, um, you know, come time to configure everything in the software, which again, I'll do a video on. Uh, that's it, guys. Um, you know, the same applies for a shaker, uh, the same applies for a gear motor, the same applies, uh, you know, for contactors, um, you know, beacons, etc., etc. And that's it. Um, again, you know, I'll do a, an in more uh, in-depth video uh, later on um, as I'm building my friend's cab. But uh, this is a quick overview of how to connect all this nonsense and get you guys playing some uh, some pinball. So, uh, as always, if you enjoy the content, please subscribe. Um, if you didn't like the content, you know, hit the uh, dislike button. If you liked it, hit the like button. And as always, um, thanks for watching and uh, stay safe, everyone. And as always, happy pinballing.